Ah, here we go. Look changer. I am very curious to find out how this looks. Well, here is the Zorin OS look changer. Windows 7, Linux Genome, Windows XP. Well, I'll tell you what, since I am running this on a Windows XP machine, let's click Windows XP and see what happens. Don't crash now. Please re-log in to apply changes. Okay. Okay, let's log out. Log out. Okay, let me pause this and I will log back in and see if Zorin OS looks more like Windows XP. Okay, I logged back in and uh, let's see what happens. If This will certainly look like Windows XP or not. Okay, back to the default wallpaper. Click the start button. Well, what do you know? Well, if you look at the Windows XP start button here and of course I have uh, the uh, if you haven't noticed I have the Microsoft Zoom theme installed but this is the real Windows XP here see that and this is the Zorin OS version of the Windows XP start menu and that look changer program which is unique to Zorin, Zorin OS actually works I like it. Check it out. This looks like more like Windows XP. Again, it's running a little bit it's a little bit slow in the virtual box, but not bad at all. Cool. And this time when I logged back in or logged out and logged back in, I click start, I was able to get the full menu as opposed to just getting the Firefox menu shortcut to boot up. Let me uh, pause this and go back to uh, the, the uh, default Windows 7 look changer and see what happens. So let me pause this and I'll be right back. Okay, I went back to the look changer program and clicked the Windows 7 look changer and uh, and once again if I have the panel bar at the bottom it's not going to bring up the full sub menu from the start button so I don't I don't know if that's a glitch in the system or an artifact of the uh, virtual box so let me just uh, change it here to the top 
Okay. Restart. Menu needs to restart. That's fine. Close. Reload a panel object. Okay, let's see what happens here. Okay, we are back to the Windows 7 default look for Zorin OS. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up in a minute. Um, so far, what I've seen, uh, this Zorin OS 3 uh, definitely deserves a closer look. If you are a Windows user wanting to try Linux or something that looks as close to Windows as possible. Um, I'm still going to stick with my first choice of Linux Mint because I just don't know too much about Zorin OS yet. I may just do this as a dual boot install or just a full install for that matter in uh, one of my machines and see what happens. I may come back and do a follow-up test to Zorin OS three but I like what I see this is very easy to use it does resemble Windows 7 and except for that one glitch where the panel bar is at the bottom it does not bring up the full Windows 7 sub menu this is very easy to use if if I had never heard or used Linux before and this operating system was just handed to me I would have no problem navigating through this to check it out and see what Linux is all about. Uh, I like the color scheme here again very easy to look at very easy on the eyes so yeah um, I definitely recommend trying out Zorin OS very easy to use and I will probably try installing this in one of my computers in a non-virtual box and see what happens but for now I definitely recommend trying out Zorn OS this may turn out to be my uh, favorite or one of my favorite Linux operating systems okay this is it then so uh, thank you for watching this edition of Total OS today on the Zorn OS operating system